Hi everyone. We're gonna do a weekend vlog this week. It's me, CJ. How's it going? Me and Dad are getting ready to go see the tulip farms. It's about an hour drive. I have this Friday off. We're taking you with us. Insert flowers. back from the tulip farm it was lovely had a little jaunt around walked around with my dad saw tulips came home i was just in the backyard trying to fix our lawnmower for the last half hour don't know what's wrong with it it's broken i have today off uh, my work gave us an extra comp day because we've all been working pretty hard which is lovely and it's already 2 p.m 2 30. kiki's almost home already the whole day zipped on by I've tidied. I'm reading Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison right now, and I'm really liking that. She is impeccable, really. No one like her. Good to be in, in a Toni Morrison headspace. So, that's what I'm doing. My dog, my dog, his name's Juge. How do you record? The red button. Oh. My love, my love. We're trying to play an escape room board game. We just did the tutorial. And it was a lot of fun. Oh, except it was for so much fun. CJ. I think it will be a nice game though. Read all the cards and kept them all to herself. So no one else was allowed to participate <laughs> in so escaping the room. Yeah. How can everybody be trying to do it when, gosh, you know? Well, now I understand it, so I'll let everyone help. Yeah, you gotta pass the cards around or what? Yeah. You look so beautiful in the sun. What's your review of our escape room, Kiki? Um. <laughs> we just got done. It took us two hours. You're not really good at sharing the cards. So you blame it all on me, huh? No. We died. <laughs> we died. We died hard. I think we could have won. I think we could have won too. My lip balm. Does my lip balm look this tinted in real life? Yep. Whoa, that is more than I thought it was. Okay, uh, happy Saturday, everyone. We just went to Target and grocery shopping. I know you're shocked. Kiki's about to go get a tattoo on his titties, right? My sternum. On his sternum. Um, and I am going to clean the house. And it's gonna suck. Bought some new sponges for it. I really want to get the soap scum off of the bathrooms and the tile today. <laughs> my main goal for today and maybe we can have a fire tonight sound good fat chance fat chance Paul yours. I feel like I just cleaned the entire house yesterday but let's do it again show them what we got at Target what do you mean show them oh, yeah. new nail clippers that's right and lippies lippies I got this new lippy Lippy lippy. And I got a new candle. Crazy. Okay, bye. I have a recommendation. I've been served these ads, Ahora, Ahora nails for like the last year. And I finally bought some. I really miss getting my nails done. I actually hate getting my nails done, like the act of doing it, but I love having them done. And I'm terrible at painting my own nails. And I tried nail stickers 
and those don't last. Regular nail polish doesn't last. I bought an, a gel nail kit, tried it at home, and I suck at painting my nails, so it didn't look great. And they're really hard to take off. And they like destroy your nails, whatever, okay? Um, so these are like gel nail stickers and it's actual gel nail polish and they cure under a UV light. So you just like apply them like a sticker and then cut and file them to your natural nails. My nails are so short right now, truly hideous. Um, but I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I got this bright orange poppy red, which I would say is like kind of my signature color for myself, you know? And then I got this like cool tie-dye one, like ombre tie-dye, see? And then I got this like pastel-y Easter vibe one. I don't know, I'll keep you updated on how they last. First time using them, so I don't know. But the reviews are good. Can't be worse than regular nail polish. That is for sure. I am impressed. I'm loving it. I'll keep you updated on wear and tear, but boy oh boy, is that nice. Do not look in here, okay? There's a lot going on. <laughs> Got some fresh sheets for the week. Name a better feeling, you can't. Still need new nightstands, let me know if you have a vision. Then I deep cleaned the bathroom, scrubbed the tile, mopped, moved everything, gave it a good scrub. Towels are in the wash. Extravagant weekend meal. We ordered in sushi Seuss. from Bamboo, which Bamboo is just a good sushi. Seuss. It's got edamame, cucumber salad, Seuss. and like the spicy cauliflower. Spicy this meatball. roll is called Green <laughs> Machine, delicious. This is like fried crispy rice roll, new to me, and then a veggie roll. Delish. I will say uh, this is f six pieces of cauliflower and it was eight dollars for the cauliflower. So rip off station, everything else, pretty delicious. <laughs> cool. What's up, vloggers? It's Sunday. We just went to <laughs> we just went to the plant nursery, and we got some vegetables and strawberries to plant. Very cute. We gotta get some shit in the ground, and we are gonna walk to the Italian bakery near our house called Bella's, so I can get a cheeky little snack, and we're gonna come back, plant our garden. Hopefully borrow a lawnmower from our neighbor because our lawn desperately needs to be mowed. And garden, I guess. The house is already cleaned. Maybe see our friends. Oh, maybe see our friends. That'd be crazy. Bella donut. Very good. Also got bread in my pocket. Living the life. We planted carrots, several varieties, French radishes, butter lettuce, broccoli, kale, and four different kinds of strawberries in this bed. Still nothing over here. Whoa. What? Look at this guy. What is it? It's a crazy mushroom. Whoa. I just got done reading Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison. I don't know what happened. I genuinely don't know what happened.
like to try to give a synopsis of that plot impossible the plot shifts probably 20 times very interesting book her use of metaphor is unparalleled incredible sentence by sentence writing i'm sure there's like amazing allegories that she's pulling from from her deep cultural history that aren't aligned with mine so they're going over my head but i mean jesus christ i can mean, pack a lot in there incest um domestic abuse it journey to find gold sleeping in a cave with a dead body um people who can fly metaphorically and literally murder um secret cults that are about murdering people i'm exhausted i'm truly exhausted and confused it was good but i don't know what just happened to me moving kind of slow <laughs> Dad is gonna help me pick out a new book to read. Oh, yes, I will. Yes, he will. I think we should pick out Animal. Okay, Dad, these are all of my books I haven't read yet. Right. So I haven't read any of them. I want you to pick three out and I'll choose between the three that you pick, which one I wanna read. Oh. But be intentional about it. Like read the titles and see what sounds good. Okay, don't just be all crazy. Yes, honey. <laughs> You gotta pick out two more. Oh my goodness. Let me read Animal. Okay. Mm. That one more. Might have to get you a little one. <laughs> <laughs> Which one sounds the best to you? Which one would you read if you had to pick? Me? Yeah. The Yellow House. You would? That's nonfiction though. What do you mean by nonfiction? It's Not true. True story. It's a memoir. Yeah, that's probably the one I like. It's about New Orleans and how crazy it's, it is. Mm. What was Animal about? I don't know about this crazy woman. <laughs> Does it sound good? It, well, she's killing men. This sounds that's good. This one here is about a young boy, I think, probably losing looking at a girl's ass from a distance oh. so it's gonna be something like that okay <laughs> <laughs> these are my choices people <laughs> hi lads it's monday i'm at my lunch break and i'm thinking about song of solomon baby um i still don't know what happened in that book and that's okay with me it's wild how demanding Morrison is of her readers. You cannot be passive. You absolutely have to be entirely present, which is like exhausting in some ways. Like that's not always what I want to read. Um, and her use of plot and metaphor are just so inventive and good while also talking about more like philosophical meta things about like race and oppression and lineage and the importance of knowing where you come from. She just blows my mind. I have to reread that book. That book was wild. I can't believe that book. <laughs> Watching YouTube videos trying to explain Song of Solomon to me because I didn't understand what happened. <laughs> um, also shout out to this book that I finished yesterday called Heat Wave. Scribner sent it to me. It's out in June. It's a translated piece of French literature. It's kind of like a novella, really. It's like 100 pages long. I finished it in an hour. And it's about a boy who witnesses a death at his summer holiday campsite and kind of unraveling why he decided to interfere with that death and the consequences that await him. Really interesting. I really liked it. Such a good, like, palate cleanser, little, like, thrillery, like, plotty piece of fiction to sink into very cinematic i can see that being made into like a gorgeous movie and very tension filled very atmospheric i felt like i was at this campsite in france with all of these families on vacation really really enjoyed this if that sounds interesting to you you know i'm not a huge plot lad but it was like 100 pages that's perfect length for me for something like that i wonder what the difference is between a novella and a novel is it page count I don't know. Whew. 
Okay, I'm on my lunch break. I had way too much coffee because I had so much to get done this morning and I need to like make my bed. So I'm gonna make my bed. Yeah. <laughs> Trees. Trees, baby. What's for dinner, Kiki? They already yeah. know. It's lemon orzo. It's lemon orzo. It's got roasted broccoli. Your Meeson place is so cute. What? Do you not know what that's called? It's called mise en place. Okay. When you like prep all of your ingredients before you start cooking. Oh my gosh. It's like something that chefs recommend you do to be efficient. Did I come up with it? No, but like you do it naturally. So basically, yeah, yeah I'm gonna take a bath. It's uh, Tuesday. I'm on my lunch break. We're still vlogging. I started reading Outline by Rachel Cusk last night. I finished this book years ago and I think I got to the second chapter so I actually remembered the first little vignette of her traveling to Greece on the airplane and the exchange between her and the Greek gentleman. It's not often I reread something so that was kind of a weird unique feeling for me to be like oh I've read this. <laughs> Um, yeah, treating myself to some cusk writing after, you know, two plot heavy back-to-back -back books, so that'll be good. I think after cusk I'm gonna read Pew because I have the holdout from my library. That's the problem with holds from the library, it's like the books you want to read have long waiting lists and then you finally get your hold and then I'm such a mood reader it's hard for me to force, force myself to read that when I get my hold. Mmm. Um, it's really nice in Portland. I'm wearing a dress. It feels kind of weird with my short hair, to be honest. It feels like more feminine for some reason. I don't know why. I'm not like a huge feminine dresser, whatever that means. Um, it's gonna be like 70s and 80s in Portland this week, so that's awesome. Doing a lot of sitting outside, a lot of stuff with the windows open, we're painting the trim. Finally, we painted the walls weeks ago and we're finally getting around to painting the trim, so that'll be great. And that's it. Just wanted to check in. Cool, cool, cool. Bye. Hi. It's 8.30, I just got off work. Agency life, design life, advertising life. It's so cool. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna read and go to bed. This is the best vlog, right? It's a really cool vlog. Okay, bye. Hey, it is thir Wednesday? Thursday? Wednesday? It's seven, I just got off work. I can't see because, oh God, mom here. Um, no offense to moms. I'm tired, I don't know what to tell you. I'm really tired and this week has sucked at work. And I'm gonna vlog tonight just a little bit, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna stop vlogging and finally upload this. This is my worst vlog ever made, fact. Just like not in my tuber headspace. My right tubers. Sorry. Uh, great. I'm still reading Rachel Cust. Still good. Love her. Talk to you later. It's pizza night, by the way. It's pizza night. The short hair, hair up options that are cute don't exist for me. So, this, this is what I'm rocking with. I'm taking a bath, even though it's 70 degrees outside today, because that calms my nervous system down. Does anyone agree? Like, there's nothing like a nice bath after a stressful day. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna review Heat Wave, which I read on Monday, I believe, on my Instagram stories where I do book reviews. So that'll be fun while I'm in the bath and just zone out. Do you think it looks bad? No. No? Why are you laughing? Because you're video recording your pizza. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is my pizza, everyone. 
It's from Daya. It's vegan. It's weirdly the best. Oh yeah, it's pronounced Daya. Sorry. It's really, Jeez. really good and crispy. Vegan, are you? Really good and crispy. Really good and crispy. Hi, I'm in bed. Outline. Good. <laughs> I just finished the fourth chapter, which is the chapter where she's on the boat with the man, which was really vivid. I'm just loving her writing. This is obviously a book that is much less structured around a plot. Uh, reminder, my first Rachel Cuss was second place, which comes out in June, I believe. And it's very much so like a normal piece of fiction with a plot. So this is plotless, very much so auto fiction. Each chapter is like a little vignette into conversation she's inserting herself into or that she's observing. And the writing is just like super gorgeous and atmospheric and vivid. I can just imagine the boat she's on. Um, her, she has really great descriptive writing without being like too realistic. There's still enough like prose in there that it's good writing. Mm, loving it. I'm gonna keep reading that and go to bed and end the vlog here my friends Sorry, it's a weird one, but it'd be like that It'd be like that sometimes. Hope you're having a good week. Goodbye <laughs>